Hello, my sumo peeps. Uh, okay, back again for a quick, I don't know if I'd call this a tutorial, but uh, I guess maybe. Um, I've, if you've noticed, I've been making a lot of flowers on sumo lately, and uh, part of the reason is, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of easy and relaxing, and you just play with tools and see what you come up with. And I've gotten a couple of privates from people going, how do you make those? Make the tutorial. It's like, okay, well, I've already kind of done this, but I'll do it again just because it's fun. So I'll, I'll just show you a few things that you can do. And we'll do this really quick. This will not be a long tutorial. Yeah, sure. Anyway, let's start with a new layer. Let's give it some color. Or new image, I should say. And this one's always my favorite. So we'll do this guy. Do it like that, and we'll add a new layer. And this is where experimentation comes in. Um, this is the last one I did that somebody <laughs> privated me, asking me how I did it. And then they didn't even bother commenting on the image, um, which is kind of funny. But uh, just take some grass, just some simple grass like that. Let's bump our flow all the way up, and our diameter all the way up. Let's go to our settings and let's space about 30 something apart and random rotate. Now watch, we just keep our mouse in the same place. Click, 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 click. And we're just clicking away until we get something that looks like, I don't know, sort of a flower. what I call the milkweed. And we'll see that looks okay. Let's duplicate that layer. Let's take the one on top and shrink it a bit. You know what I forgot to do? I was gonna turn these to opposite. So adjustments, negative. Adjustments, negative. That way it looks more like our milkweed. We can also adjustments, hue and saturation. Give it a little bit of a gold tone, kind of like a milkweed might have. Turn down the saturation though. Maybe even the darkness. Merge that down. Let's duplicate a layer. And let's shrink that other layer. Turn it a bit so everything doesn't look perfect. Same thing, duplicate. Retransform, turn, and shrink. And you can see where I'm going. Duplicate layer, retransform, turn, and shrink. This will probably show up better on the darker background. Now let's go ahead and merge these all down. And just so this does show up better, I'll darken this background. You can see here we kind of have a milky, weedy looking thing. Let's duplicate that again. Let's take the bottom layer this time. Filters, blur, Radial blur. And let's adjust it so this is right in the center. And we'll zoom it a little more. And we'll put it on the lighten. And we'll give it a little bit of twist so everything doesn't look so perfect. And duplicate that layer. Let's take the bottom layer, make it a little bigger. And turn. Merge those down. And I want the background a little darker. Give them saturation. And you can see we have something that looks kind of like a fuzzy milkweed. So add, imagine adding leaves, um, all sorts of stuff to that. So. Let's do something else. Okay. Let's start a new layer. I'm trying to think what else I've done here. Um, 
paintbrush. And this is really what I do. I just kind of look around for uh, cool brushes and, and well, okay, I've never done this before. Let's take a little bit of lightning. How's that? And we're going to keep the same things random rotate about 30 across. And let's keep our mouse in the same place. And I don't know that I like this in black, but you know, whatever. Adjustments, hue and saturation. Actually, let's go adjustments, negative. That looks kind of cool. Let's uh, duplicate layer. Turn and shrink. Duplicate layer. We transform. Turn. Oops. Turn. merge these down and it looks like they're kind of doing the same thing so I didn't know like I said I never played these things so we've got almost the same kind of thing except this is a curly milkweed <laughs> um, let's go ahead and adjust this color adjustments hue and saturation what color should I make it red And just like that, duplicate layer, twirl, duplicate layer, and twirl. Now, since I don't like how thick it is in the middle here, let's take our bottom layer. Let's use our eraser tool. Put our eraser on basic brush, let's say number one. Or uh, what is that? Uh, airbrush number one. And let's erase. Let's go up to the next layer. See, we're, we're bringing back in some of that detail. And then the clear and erase. And I have no kind of clue what sort of flower this is, but let's merge these layers down. And just duplicate the next layer. Again, let's erase that middle because. I don't like it to appear too thick. But let's take that filters, blur, radial blur again. Lighten, darken, yeah, that'll make a difference. Do you want to twirl it maybe the other way? layer down and here you have I don't know what you'd name this flower but it's kind of interesting huh a lightning flower 
Um, we could add a center treatment. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff we can do with that. We'll compare it to the other one here. So there you have it. Two different ways to make flowers. It's just experimentation. It's just playing around. You know, it's just twisting, turning, adding layers. Um, thinking, oh, I don't like how thick that is. I need to erase part of the bottom layer, all sorts of stuff. So have fun with it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.